a very good evening to all dear brothers and sisters in christ so last uh, week uh, we studied about the topic about uh, hell so we see that uh, hell in the bible is not a place of torment uh, but uh, it is uh, the grave and the condition where uh, all the dead uh, go and uh, they will all be resurrected from this grave only during uh, christ uh, a thousand years. So the next uh, question that logically comes to our mind is uh, what is the meaning of uh, the judgment day? Because uh, usually every human being has a conception about the judgment day, that there is going to be a judgment day when, uh, you see, uh, when the Lord returns uh, at the second coming, you see, he is going to judge the whole world. Uh, he is going to come upon the clouds uh, riding upon a white horse and uh, the whole world will see and uh, wail and uh, uh, you see uh, they will all be troubled they'll all uh, stand in fear and awe and all the graves uh, you see will be opened and all the dead people uh, will come to life all uh, people from all religion you see all uh, places uh, all belief Everybody will uh, come back to life. So, and uh, everybody has to face this uh, judgment uh, and stand before Christ. So, everybody will come back uh, alive. And uh, everybody will be standing in a queue uh, before Christ. And uh, Jesus will sit on a, a great white throne. And... Uh, books uh, will be opened and uh, one more book also will be opened that is called as the book of life and in that book of life uh, everybody's uh, you see name shall be clearly mentioned uh, so who all uh, are there uh, who all have sinned uh, what all things they have committed and jesus will call everybody by name uh, so all the persons who have not believed in jesus uh, and have committed sins uh, you see, uh, their sins will be read out loudly. All the things which they committed in each and every point or each and every fault, each and every sin they are in. So it will be repeated to them and they will be cast out, uh, you see, into the lake of fire, burning fire. Uh, they will be thrown. Uh. So there, what will happen? Their fire uh, quench not uh, and uh, the worms die not. So they will be tormented forever and ever and ever and ever uh, in that fire. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, you see the judgment of the wicked, uh, how they will suffer in hell, uh, how they will be tormented uh, and uh, you see how they will be uh, suffering in pain. And uh, for the good uh, people, uh, you see, those who have uh, uh, believed in Jesus, uh, you see, uh, who are Christians, uh, uh, they will be uh, gifted, uh, you see, they will be blessed, uh, 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 with a uh, prize uh, because they have done good uh, in the name of Christ uh, uh, and they have preached uh, the gospel to wherever uh, they are met uh, and they are good Christians. Uh, so they will be give, uh, given the blessed, uh, you see, uh, reward uh, for being in paradise, uh, you see, uh, and to uh, be with uh, Christ and all the holy angels. Uh, and they will uh, join all the holy angels uh, in singing, uh, you see, uh, praises uh, unto God uh, forever and ever and holy, 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 holy. They will keep on singing. And thus, um, they will be in uh, heaven, uh, you see, the heaven will be full of a uh, street of gold uh, and uh, a paradise, beautiful paradise, uh, a living tree uh, by the sides uh, and uh, covered full full of gems and gold and uh, you see all the precious uh, things in this world. So, uh, dear brethren, therefore, uh, this is uh, the general uh, idea about uh, judgment. Uh, that when Christ comes uh, at the second coming, so what will happen? Uh, he will judge the whole world. But, uh, along with this one, there is also a belief uh, where the whole world believes that as soon as a man dies, a uh, judgment happens. Uh, you see, as soon as a man dies, uh, immediately souls come out of him, which is invisible. 
the invisible soul you see immediately you see it goes to huh god you see immediately it goes to god now huh nobody can see how the soul got exited you see but the soul we can see everything and uh, it will pass uh, you see uh, through the passage of life uh, and uh, it will go for judgment uh, you see a judgment is what uh, again those who are done wicked you see uh, they books will be opened there again the deeds uh, the things what all they did it will be read to them and uh, they will go to hell if they are done the wicked uh, things again they will suffer in hell and be tormented and uh, those who are done good you see they will go to huh, uh, where heaven beautiful paradise uh, to be with our lord uh, you see so this is the general idea the two ideas about uh, judgment okay if the judgment has already happened as soon as a man dies then when why there should be one more judgment at the lord second coming so where did they get this idea of uh, judgment happening as soon as a man dies you see that idea is got uh, from a verse in hebrews uh, 9:27 can anybody read brother verse uh, hebrews 9:27 can you read brother somebody anil brother can you read hebrews 9:27 okay brother 27 and as it is appointed unto men once to die but after this this the judgment ah it is appointed for a man to die after this sir, is the judgment so it is based upon this verse only that the man is fixed to die and as soon as he dies what happens uh, the judgment uh, you see therefore everybody believes that as soon as a man dies there is going to be judgment okay if let us take it this one as the same thing then you see for all the dead people judgment should have happened no hmm? like for example sodom and gomorrah the wicked people huh? for them also judgment should have happened no now who is the one who is going to judge You see, the judge is our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, come, let us go and ask our Lord Jesus whether He has done the judgment or not. So, let us read Matthew eleven twenty four, brother. Matthew eleven twenty four. Hmm. Joel, brother, can you read Joel, brother? But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day. Of of judgment that for the see jesus tells that in the day of judgment he shall be more tolerable tolerable for sodom than for israel that means the judge himself is telling that the judgment for sodom and gomorrah is not at over so it will happen in the coming future days so as soon as a man dies where will the judgment happen now jesus is telling no there is no judgment uh, that has happened it will happen in the future and moreover you see uh, lazarus was raised from the dead uh, you see and that means if the dead person is judged uh, immediately as soon as he dies then lazarus uh, when he returned you see he should have come and told uh, uh, the testimony about how judgment will happen uh, uh, in uh, uh, heaven is it it he should have told no oh i went to the heaven uh, jesus opened the book of life uh, you know you see and uh, there i saw Ah, uh, all the things uh, about me was written, and uh, as I was a Christian, uh, as I believed in Jesus, as I was a friend of Jesus, uh, you see what happened. Ah, uh, my sins were forgiven. Then uh, Jesus took me to tour of hell. Did he any of any of those things? Uh, did uh, uh, Lazarus mention? No. So here. Lazarus uh, did not mention uh, any of those things. Uh, this itself is a clear proof uh, that. Uh, uh a judgment doesn't happen as soon as a man dies okay then why does uh, hebrews 927 say like that it is appointed for a man to die and then judgment dear brethren if you read uh, that verse uh, carefully this is not speaking about a human being at all say we have studied in the first class how to study the bible here a little there a little search the scriptures you see and read properly 
greatly dividing from the word of God. So here, in Hebrews 9 chapter, it is actually speaking about the high priest. You see, high priest is to enter into the most holy only once a year. And whenever he is to enter, he's, uh, he was tied with a rope along with his, uh, you see, waist. Uh, and he was, uh, you see, sent inside the most holy. Because uh, when he is in the most holy, if he commits any small sin or mistake given in his very thoughts, immediately the penalty would be death. So if he dies, uh, then how can uh, his body be brought out? Uh, so they would have usually tie a rope so they can pull him out. Uh, you see, so that moment of the high priest entering to the most holy was a very crucial one, was very dangerous one. It was like appointing him to die. It was actually that he was fixed for death. You don't know whether he will return alive or not. So that was the situation. Read Hebrews 9.24, brother. Hebrews 9.24, brother. Huh? Joel, brother, please read Hebrews 9.24. Okay, brother. For Christ is not entered into the holy place made with hands which are the figures of the true but into heaven itself. Now it ever appear in the presence of God for ah, us. Ah, wait. Now it says, for Christ entered into the holy place. See, here the high priest is compared to Christ. As high priest entered the most holy place, similarly Christ entered heaven itself, it seems. Uh, now continue, brother. Now verse 25, brother. Uh. Nor yet that he should after offer himself often as the high priest entered into the holy place every year with blood of others, for then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now once in the end of the world had he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. Ah, see, here he is continuing that comparison of Christ to high priest and telling that uh, he should offer himself. You see, uh, not that Jesus should offer himself like a high priest, but this one, he did it only once. Uh, by entering into the most holy, you see, and offered and sacrificed himself to God. So, Jesus sacrificed, finished everything. And immediately after telling this one, in 27th verse, it says, And as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this judgment. You see, he's telling about the judgment now, verse 27. But again, if you read verse 28, it's speaking about Christ. Read with verse 28. Uh. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. Ah, see? Him. Bear the sins of many. So read, uh, see, brother. Verse 26, verse 28. Everything is speaking about Christ and the high priest. Then suddenly only verse 27 will speak about the whole mankind. Uh, whole human being. Uh. No. This is speaking about a high priest itself. High priest was appointed to die. The day he took the blood into the most holy to pour it upon the Shekinah glory to, you see, huh? to satisfy God's justice and greasy blessings for the whole Israel. It was like death and life matter to him because if he commits any mistake, that entire year, the people of Israel would not have any forgiveness at all. There would not be any atonement for them. They would be still sinners in God's sight. So they wouldn't have any relationship with God. So that was a very critical matter. Therefore, it's speaking about high priest, not about individual human beings. Okay, even if you take that he's speaking about individual human beings, what does the verse say? It is appointed for a man to die. And then, you see, then what? Judgment. Huh? Now, do man die only once? There is second death also in the Bible. Last time we read now, this is second death. So man dies two times. Not only one time, dear brethren. So there are two deaths also in the Bible. And man was never appointed to die. He was appointed in the Garden of Eden 
to have dominion over the creation of God. So, we need to search the scriptures here a little, there a little. And moreover, if the dead has to be judged, they have to come back to life. Now, when will they come back to life? You tell me, when will the dead come back to life? Anil Budar, when will the dead actually rise to life? In the second, second coming. Very good. At the second coming of Lord Jesus. Very good. Correct. Read First Thessalonians 4.16, brother. Huh? Read, brother. Hmm. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a sound, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then the dead in Christ shall rise first. If the resurrection happens on the second coming, then judgment also should happen when? At the second coming. Therefore, Jesus said clearly in Matthew 16, 27, that when the Son of Man shall come in glory of his Father with his angels, then he shall reward every man according to his works. So then only judgment will happen. Then only he shall Reward everybody. Okay. Now judgment. Judgment means what? Uh, Jesus will come. Everybody will be standing in a queue like a ration. You see, shop. They stand in a queue you know, or in a film ticket. Cinema theater. Huh? They stand in a queue to buy ticket. You know. So everybody is standing in a queue. Jesus will open the book. Huh? Then condemn everybody. Oh, you are? What's your name? Oh, you are Krishna. Krishna, please. Go to hell. Oh, you are? Joseph, oh, oh, Joseph, you even though you drank full bottle, please come to heaven. That's what a judgment is. Huh? You're dividing between uh, sinner uh, and, uh, you see, uh, and uh, Christian. Is that a judgment? Huh? Then, what does the Bible say? Who will judge along with Christ? Who is the judge? The Bible says that Jesus not only is the judge, but along with Jesus, the church is also the judge. Read 1 Corinthians 6 2, brother. 1 Corinthians 6 2. Hmm. Munna sister, can you read 1 Corinthians 6 2? Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Very good, sir. So, don't you know that the saints shall judge the world? So, in the queue, Jesus is going to separate the saint and the sinner. You see, the verse says, the saints will be with Jesus to judge the people who are in the queue. If there is no saint in the queue, if there are only sinners in the queue, why there is judgment? You know, everybody has sinned. So, once for all, you can send everybody to hell, no? Now, why there is judgment? You see, what did Apostle Paul say? How many people are writers in this world? How many people are writers? Tell me. How many people are there? No one. No one. Apostle Paul knows that nobody is writers. In the queue, everybody are sinners. Doesn't the great judge Jesus know that everybody are sinners? He surely knows. Then why is the judgment? Judgment itself is not required. Therefore, dear brethren, before understanding or coming to some conclusion, we need to study about the subject of judgment as per the Bible. You see, the judgment word in Greek is krino. In English, actually it means crisis. Crisis means what? It can be this way or that way. Like for example, if somebody is in the ICU, very critical, very serious condition, what will the doctor say? No, we can't say anything. It can be this way or that way. That is the real meaning of uh, judgment. And uh, in judgment, there are two things that are involved. Not only you just condemn everybody, but there are two things involved. There's a trial and based on the trial, there is a decision. Dear brethren, this is what uh, they do in the world. You saw, you know, there are so many cases that are handled in the court today. You know, you see, the, you know, uh, I think everybody must know this one. You see, Kasab. Huh? The, you see, the terrorist who attacked uh, Mumbai. Huh? We, we know that uh, he's a terrorist. Uh, his activities were lively recorded on TV in CC camera. But even then, when he was caught red on died, uh, uh, what did uh, 
you see, uh, they do with him. Uh, need not uh, immediately put him or hang him to death. There was a trial and based on the trial, the decision was given that hang him to death. Similarly, whatever case you take, dear brethren, Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, Veerappan, Bin Laden, you see, there is always a trial and based on the trial only, the final decision is given. So, these two process always includes in the judgment. So, judgment means the trial and a decision based on the trial. Like for example, you see, this is what happened in Garden of Eden. You see, when uh, Adam, uh, you see, sinned uh, against God, you see, Adam uh, was created, uh, you see, Adam was created uh, in God's sight uh, and uh, God told you freely eat of uh, everything in the Garden of Eden, but not eat the fruit of uh, knowledge of good and evil. In the day you eat thereof, you shall surely die. So, as God commanded, since then the trial of Adam began. But once Adam ate the fruit, what happened? The trial ended. Then the decision was given that he was a culprit and he was a sinner and he was cast out from the God, presence of God. So in the judgment, in the Garden of Eden, there was a trial. And then based upon the trial, there was a decision and not just blindly some decision. These things has to be kept in mind. Therefore, you see, the entire mankind today are under the same judgment. We are all under the same judgment. You see, we are all facing the same judgment which, uh, which was passed upon Adam. Therefore, the Bible uh, uh, clearly says that uh, in Adam we all die. Hmm? We are all uh, tasting death through Adam. You see, read uh, Jeremiah uh, 31, 29 and Romans 5, 12. Uh, Romy sister or Amar brother, can you read Jeremiah 31 29? Amar brother, can you read Jeremiah 31 29? Yes, brother. Okay. okay. Uh, 31. 29. In those days, they shall say no more. The fathers have uh, e the fathers have eaten a sore grapes, and the children's teeth are set on a it. Mm, you see, in those days, uh, they shall say no more. That the fathers have eaten the so grape and children's teeth are set on the edge. That means now it is being said uh, the fathers have eaten the so grape and the children's teeth are set on the edge. You see, who is the father? The father, Adam, who ate the forbidden fruit in Garden of Eden. So, what has happened? Uh, our teeth, uh, you see, we are all facing the judgment. Uh, you see, death. Uh, you see, uh, does it make any sense that the fathers have sinned and we have been punished? Yes, but this is applicable in the sin of Adam which he committed in the Garden of Eden. Under which judgment we are all facing uh, the penalty. See, Romans 5.12. Romans 5.12. Amar brother, you are there? Romans Amar brother is there? Can yes, he is here. Okay, can you he read yeah. Romans 5.12? Romans 5.12 Okay, Romans 5.12 hmm. Wherefore, as by one man sin enter into the world and death by sin and so they pass upon all men, for mm. that all have seen. Mm -hmm. What does it say? See, by one man, sin entered into the world. Not by multiple persons, one man. And because of the sin, death. And this death, it was passed upon everybody, it seems. You see, how? Because of that one man. So we are all condemned in Adam. Each and every grave 
each and every pain, each and every sin, each and every sorrow, that is a clear witness that we are in the same judgment. We are under the same judgment. Okay. If we are all under the same judgment, under the first judgment, then why there should be a second judgment? Correct, no? Let us read Acts 17.31. 17.31. Uh, Ashish Mother, can you read? Acts 17.31. Um, brother, I am outside. Okay. Sorry, I am outside. Gopal Brother, can you read? Yeah, brother. Because he has appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained, where, whereof he had given assurance unto all men, in that he had raised him from the dead. Hmm. God had appointed a day that is going to judge the whole world in righteousness. That means that is not at come. It is going to be in the future. So, appointed a day means what? Is it literal 24 hours? If you see, no, it is not literally 24 hours. Why? For our Lord Jesus, one day means how many years? Let me see who is going to tell. One day, thousand, means, years. thousand years, very good. For Jesus, second Peter 3 it clearly says that uh, one day with the Lord is a thousand years. Therefore, this judgment day is not a single day, 24 hours uh, that everybody will stand in the queue and Jesus will judge. It will be a period of a thousand years. He will judge the whole dead world for a period of a thousand years. Uh, uh -huh. And uh, what does the Bible say? Huh? Yeah, you see, day means what? Uh, the day of son of man, the, the day of judgment. Day everywhere in the Bible doesn't mean 24 hours. You see, we have seen in the creative days, God created for six days and rested on seventh day. That is not a little 24 hours. That is a period of 7,000 years. So similarly, when we speak in the Bible, it also it says, during the days of Noah. During the days of Noah means what? 24 hours. No, it was a lifespan of Noah. So similarly, the day of judgment means the day of the Son of Man. That is a period of thousand years. Okay. Here it says how Jesus will judge the world. Well, let's again read that verse, brother. Acts 17.31, brother. Can anybody read? Acts 17.31, brother. Please. Uh, read, Gopal, brother. Because he had appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he had ordained, whereof he had given assurance unto all men, in that he had raised him from the dead. Mm. He will judge the world in righteousness. That was the Bible says that he will judge the world in righteousness. That means this judgment is not going to be unrighteous judgment. What do you mean by unrighteous judgment? See, for all our sins, who died? Who suffered for all our sins? Tell me, who suffered? Jesus. Jesus. Is it Jesus? Did he die or not? Huh? Let us read Isaiah 53 5. Muna sister, please read Isaiah 53 5. But he, he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The, chast, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Ah, see, he was wounded for why? For our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon whom? Was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. That means, we are healed by whose stripes? His stripes. So, he has taken all the stripes instead of us upon himself. Now, is it correct to again give us the same penalty for all the sins which we have done? I'll tell you an example. See, imagine if you are in any uh, Dubai or uh, you see, a Kuwait and all. Uh, if you commit any mistake, uh, you see, uh, in the Middle East and all, they will immediately gather the people there and judge the, there itself. 
imagine if you are stolen something if you are a thief then you will get 50 lashes sir. imagine i am in uh, uh, you see dubai i have stolen a, a thing and uh, i'll be given 50 lashes sir. imagine 50 lashes how it will be you see some people will tremble only for 5 lashes and die at that condition somebody else uh, takes those 50 lashes instead of me you see huh? then uh, what uh, actually the people should do they should release me but even after giving that penalty call me again and give me also the penalty is it a proper judgment no if somebody pays for our fine then what will the police do police will release us so similarly jesus has paid our fine the whole world's fine is jesus has paid so the whole world should actually be released then what is this actually judgment you see john 317 clearly says that jesus did not come to condemn the world but to save the world therefore how the judgment will take place it is he shall have a righteous judgment means what when christ returns the second coming you see he is going to resurrect all the dead you see and bring back them back to life on the same earth you see irrespective of what they have seen what they have done you see all the people except the faithful christians everybody will be brought back to the same earth alive on the same earth in the same flesh then christ will bind satan for a period of 1000 years why so that he may deceive the nations no more why what has done what has satan done satan has deceived everybody now he has blinded everybody now so the same thing should not repeat in christ kingdom because god wants everybody to come to the knowledge of truth and accept christ as a savior so one thing christ will do at his return is first bind satan okay let us read revelation chapter 20 verses 1 2 and 3 joel brother can you read okay brother i saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and great chain in his hand and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent which is the which is the devil and satan and bound him a thousand years and cast him him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed and little season he is bound and put a seal why so that he should not deceive the nations uh, Huh? no more he should uh, deceive the nations no more dear brethren see now the god of this world is what is done is blinded the eyes of many second corinthians 4 4 but the same thing should not repeat when now it should not repeat in christ kingdom you see so when satan is bound what will happen satan is not allowing the people to you see understand the bible you see come to the knowledge of christ but when christ is bound him for a thousand years everybody will be given the understanding of the bible so read isaiah 26:9 when jesus is going to judge what will happen to the world uh, sunita sister can you read isaiah 26:9 sunita sister you there yes brother isaiah with 26. my soul have i desired the in the in the night yeah with my spirit within me will i seek the early for when thy judgments are in the earth the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness ah you see when thy judgments are on earth what will the people do will they fear tremble go to hell and heaven what does the verse say the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness that means inhabitants will be in the world satan should be bound then only they can learn righteousness in the world they should be righteousness so that is what is going to happen he is going to bind satan and open everybody's eyes and ears read isaiah 29 18 to 24 brother 
it is isaiah 29 18 to 24 uh, anil brother can you read 29 chapter 18 to 24 18 18 to 24 mm. okay brother and in that day shall the deaf hear the words of the book and the eyes of the blind shall see out of of security and out of darkness hey brother the he says one minute brother he says in that day which is that day day means a thousand years the day of judgment what will happen now? deaf hear the words of the book who are these deaf huh? those who had ears could not listen not literal ears but uh, did not have the ears of understanding those who had eyes but could not understand the bible they will understand it seems brother continue brother next huh? the meek also shall increase their joy in the lord and the poor among men shall rejoice in the holy one of israel for the terrible one is brought to not no, and see, the... brother, what is say the terrible one is brought to not satan is brought to nothing he is bound that is the reason all these things will happen brother then continue brother huh? brought to not and the scorner is consumed and all that watch for iniquity are cut off that make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reproved in the gate and turn aside the just for a thing of not hmm. therefore thus said the lord who redeemed abraham concerning the house of jacob Jacob shall not now be ashamed neither shall his face now wax pale but when he seeth his children the work of mine hands in the midst of the of him they shall sanctify my name and sanctify sanctify the holy one of Jacob and shall fear the God of Israel they also that earned in in spirit shall come to understanding and they that murmur shall learn doctrine mm. they that committed mistake in the spirit you see and they shall come to understanding of the bible and they that murmur shall learn doctrine you see so many people murmur oh this is like that that's like that they'll simply argue huh? without even understanding the bible they will all learn the false christians who don't even understand the bible you see who don't give their ear to understanding the bible they will learn the bible in his kingdom therefore you see when jesus is going to rule for a thousand years he is going to bring back mankind slowly back to perfection brother so this will take entire thousand years sir. you see to bring man from the fallen condition to perfection in which adam was there so Once uh, they reach perfection, what will happen? You see, once a uh, man comes to perfection, what will happen? The same thing. You see, that happened in the Garden of Eden. Again, God will give a small test. What did we read? Revelation twentieth chapter. Satan is bound for a thousand years, and after a thousand years, he is let loose for a little season. So same way, you see. Once, uh, when mankind is brought to the perfection, like Adam was perfect in a garden of Eden, what will happen? Uh, God will again give a test. Uh, that is going to be the final judgment. So this is going to be the same thing as in garden of Eden. You see, Adam was perfect. Similarly, the whole world will be in a perfect condition. God demanded only one thing from Adam: obedience. Similarly, in the thousand years, God will demand only one thing: uh, obedience. The reward will be life. Adam was promised eternal life. Similarly, the whole world will be promised eternal life. In Garden of Eden, that judgment had a beginning and an end. You see, it began from the day God commanded not to eat the fruit. It ended when he was cast out of Garden of Eden. So, in this judgment in thousand years, it is going to be a period of thousand years. The only one difference between the Garden of Eden and the entire thousand is that uh, there Adam did not have experience. but in christ kingdom 
each and every mankind will have beautiful experience with evil. Hence, uh, they will have a clear choice to make. After having a good experience with evil, definitely they will choose, uh, you see, good uh, when both are shown before them. Therefore, you see, read uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, Isaiah 65, 20, brother. Isaiah 65, uh, 20. Uh, Romy sister, can you read Isaiah 65, 20? Uh, Romy sister, you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Sixty is there? Uh, sixty-five twenty. Hmm. There shall be no more uh, the, then an infant of infant of days, nor an old man that hath not feel his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinners being an hundred years old shall be a, a cure. Thank you, sister. So, here it says, uh, uh, in uh, when the judgment is going to happen, each and every person will be giving at least minimum 100 years. You see, we will explain this verse very clearly when, when we, uh, uh, in the future, uh, in the coming days. But, uh, here it says, his child shall die at 100 years old. Can anybody who is dying at, at 100 years old, can he be called as a child? No. Why then he is called as a child? Compared to the thousand years where all mankind are living, one who is dying for hundred years is just a small child. So, that means in thousand years, minimum age for a person to die is hundred years. So, hundred years is minimum opportunity for man will be given to change his ways, at least little bit development. So, I am sure many of the people will definitely change in hundred years. See, how many years we are living in now? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Huh? In 80 years, so many things we would have learned now. So many things would have changed. Similarly, it will happen in Christ. You see, in his kingdom. So all this judgment is clearly pictured to us in Matthew 25th chapter. You see, Matthew 25th chapter 32 and 33. Uh, Muna sister, can you read Matthew 25th chapter 32 and 33? And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats, and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Very good. See, he says, huh? he shall gather the whole nations before him. Uh, because of this one, I think everybody stand in the queue. He will divide like a sheep and a goat. Uh, huh? Is it literal? Uh, let us see. Read verse uh, 31, brother. 31. Uh, 31. Sister Munashtra, please read. Uh. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angel with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Okay. So, see, based on this uh, parable in Matthew 25, chapter only, where Jesus tells, uh, I was sick, uh, you came and uh, uh, gave me uh, medicine. Uh, I was in the prison, you came and visited me. I was without clothes, you came and clothed me. I was without water, you came and gave me water. I was without food and you gave me food. So, because of this verse only, people tell that, oh, we should do hospitality work. You see, uh, we should do uh, social work. You see, we should give food to the poor, water to the poor, go and do, do jail ministry. Those who don't have clothes, uh, we should give you clothes. Uh, huh? Everybody thinks that uh, this is applicable now. This is what we have to do now. No. If you read uh, that verse 31, what sister read now, it says, when will this work actually happen? It is not now. Jesus did not do any of these activities uh, in his ministry. It says in verse 31, when a son of man shall come in his glory. When is that one? When will Jesus return in his glory? When? Tell me, when will Jesus return in his glory? 
second coming very good the second coming so these things uh, will be done by the world in second coming not now no there is no use of going and giving to the poor there is no use why we will tell you all those things in the coming days so jesus is going to separate the entire world before him as he separates the sheep and goat no why sheep and goat are compared because sheep and goat have two different types of quality sheep is a very soft and a docile animal which surrender himself you see uh, therefore jesus is compared to a sheep a sheep taken to the slaughter but goat is very stubborn very tough very hard aha uh -huh. so what does it mean it means when everybody are resurrected the mankind has to manifest the character that are mentioned in this uh, parable this is actually a parable this is not a literal statement uh, you see the sheep class will have that affection and love where they will show it to other people who are coming in batches in the resurrection they will go and visit them they will give them food what food da uh? spiritual food da uh? they will give them water 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 living water sir uh? they will give them cloth uh, because everybody will be naked what naked uh? everybody will be having the belief on this uh, false religion false belief so what they should do they should go and give them the cloth the cloth of righteousness of jesus and they tell that jesus is the king of kings uh, and jesus has died for us uh, this cloth has to be given and they are in prison prison means what uh, the prison house of death uh, so you should pray that they may be resurrected but some people the goat class what will they do no my grandfather my father did not give anything of his property to me so let us not pray that he may come in the resurrection that is all goat character at your brethren so this way in the entire thousand years when the god's truth shall be given slowly filtration will happen these two classes will get uh, separated now what will be the reward for the sheep class read will they go to heaven what will be the reward for the goat class will they go to hell no let us read what the bible says sir. read with the matthew 25 34 brother ha huh? then shall the king say unto them on his right hand come ye blessed of my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world ah uh, what did the huh? the king say ka huh? to them on his right hand right means what uh, chief favor come blessed of the father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world which is the kingdom which god has prepared for mankind from the foundation of the world is it heaven jesus taught us to pray let thy kingdom come let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven same prayer see that kingdom will be given to the sheep class in the world they shall be living in this earth only ha huh? but what will happen to the good class ha uh ha -huh. let us read matthew 25 41 brother ha huh? go for the read 41 then shall he say unto them on the left hand depart from me ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels you see ha huh? what will happen to the wicked the sheep class good class uh, they will all go to the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and angels which is this everlasting fire is it a uh, hell fire ha uh? huh? read revelation 20 verse 14 brother gopal brother read you can read from the screen and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire this is the second death ah lake of fire means what second death not uh, some other thing the brethren so the whole world will be cast uh, uh, so the wicked those who don't obey god's command they shall go to second death so this is the process of judgment as per the bible then Okay, brother. If this is what the judgment uh, as per the Bible, then what about the sins which uh, so many people commit now? So many things they do. You see, they murder somebody, they spoil somebody's life, uh, they spoil their family. So many people are orphaned. Uh, you see, so many uh, terrorist attack, uh, so many wars, uh, so many hatred, uh, various types of uh, wicked activities. Uh, brother, is there no judgment? Uh, they should be punished now. Is there no punishment uh, from God? Uh? Yes, there is a punishment. Uh. But I don't think anybody can give a severe punishment than God. Uh. What is that punishment? Uh? We can read that one in Romans first chapter twenty four to thirty two. But uh, we shall not read all the verses. Uh. Okay? Can someone uh, 
Joel, brother, read. If you have the Bible, read uh, Matt, uh, Romans uh, first chapter. Only a few verses will read. But uh, I request everybody to read these verses when you're free in the house. Uh, read from uh, verse uh, 24, brother. Joel, brother, read from verse 24. Okay, brother. Wherefore, God also gave them up uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Hmm. 26 now. Okay. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affection, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against the nature. Hmm. 27. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women burn in their lost one towards another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that uh, recompense of their error which was meet. See, what did he do with himself? Men with men, men marrying men, women marrying women, burning in lust. This is what we see in today's word. Apostle Paul wrote this one during those days only. Then read verse 29, verse 29 to 32, brother. Huh? Being filled with all unrighteousness, ah, all, all unrighteousness, underline all, all unrighteousness. Next, ah. fornication, hmm. weakness, hmm. copiousness, hmm. uh, molecuness, hmm. full of envy, hmm. murder, hmm. debate, hmm. deceit, hmm. malignity, hmm. whispers. See, all types of sins are mentioned here. What do you want? Unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, decide, you see, malignity, whisperers, then 30, 31. Huh? Back habitures, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedience to parents see? without Disobedience to parents. Inventors of evil things, suicide bomb, various types of torment, torture. Huh? 31. Huh? Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, in place level, unmerciful. See, without understanding. Whatever advice you give, they won't listen to the parents at all. Covenant breakers, today they marry, tomorrow they divorce. Tomorrow, some other, day after tomorrow, some other, without natural affection. You see, they get conceived and throw the baby on the road and go. They'll live an orphan life. No affections. Implacable, unmerciful. Then, 32. Hmm. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. See, they are worthy of death. That is the penalty which God is giving them. But I don't think anybody can give any severe penalty than death. Isn't it? You see, what is more severe than death? Nothing. Even now, you see, none of the courts in India are permitted to give death penalty. It stopped. You see, because that is the most severe and the worst of all the penalty. But God says, that is the penalty. You see, whatever they do, they may murder, they may spoil somebody, you see, they may, you see, completely ruin their family, you see, in various ways, but uh, death is the most severest of all the penalty. Therefore, whatever evil they're doing now, you see, they're actually building or destroying the character. You see, either way, whatever wicked thing you do, is so much of evil things you're feeling with yourself, uh, if you're doing good, you're doing good to yourself. You're building such good character. When you come back in the resurrection, you see, it will be very difficult for those persons because they have to lose all their wicked qualities. Uh, 
you see what all bad things they did uh, in uh, their life uh, they have to leave all those things and come up for the way of holiness come back to christ uh, come back to the human adamic perfection that won't be so easy like for example you see we are there huh? we are all uh, sinners we were living in the world we have some bad qualities in us no no we all know that uh, those things uh, uh, god doesn't like it uh, but yet uh, sometimes we do it uh, because out of weakness but after doing those uh, evil things or bad things uh, we feel somewhat very sorrow in our heart uh, we have that pain but you oh, i shouldn't have this, done this one i did a very wrong thing you see we have that repentance within ourselves uh, and sometimes we feel oh, yo, if i was like a good person if i was brought up uh, in a very good way it would have been so easy for me to make my calling election sure that will be the same for the entire man can do then whatever people do now either they build their character or destroy their character which will have the results in the thousand years to be then therefore this is the subject about judgment okay so kindly go through the uh, youtube link any doubts any questions if anybody has they can ask anybody any questions brother